Hey everybody, let's talk a little bit about some problems that you might be seeing with your bonsai. Now for this video, I've used my little guinea pig flame tree bonsai, her name's Penelope, uh, and kind of put her through the ringer so that she demonstrated some of the major symptoms that are common with bonsai. Snowing. <laughs> uh, so. Let's talk about chlorosis. Chlorosis is going to be a nutrient deficiency in your plant. Now all the nutrients that your plant gets is gonna come from the soil. And most soils are gonna be pretty deficient in all nutrients because they rely 100% on you to put those nutrients in. So when you pour soil out of a bag, it's gonna be empty. There's not gonna be any nutrients in there. So you wanna make sure that you have a fertilizer that's good and heavy in iron, magnesium, nitrogen, potassium, and phosphate. A lot of the all-purpose fertilizers are going to be really heavy in nitrogen, potassium, and phosphate, and that's it. You need those micronutrients to avoid chlorosis. Wilting is a serious issue with very kind of unclear definitions as to how to rectify the situation. Now, wilting could be too much water or not enough. Only you could judge that. Now, if a plant is getting too much water, their root systems are going to become bogged down and there's not gonna be oxygen enough to keep the foliage good. So that's one reason for wilting. Another could be not enough water. There's not enough water going up to the top of the plant, it's going to wilt because there's not enough hydration to keep it perky. So typically wilt is going to be caused by one of those two things. Now in very rare occasions, you can have a fungus that causes a wilt, but that's usually accompanied by some browning and yellowing as well. So if your foliage is just wilting without changing colors, chances are it's a hydration issue. knowing more. Um, so if your leaves look something like this here, chances are you've got a little bit of an issue with water. Now it's not because you're overwatering; it's just because you have a bit of a drainage issue in your soil. Now it could be because your soil is not of a proper com composition. If there's not enough perlite or airy matter in the soil, it becomes too dense and your oxygen is not going to get into your soil and it makes your plant kind of freak out on the top. So make sure that your soil isn't too compacted or too dense or too soaking wet. Now if you find that it is, poke some holes in it with a little toothpick and try to dry it out. Also, if you notice that just the tips of your leaves are turning black or brown, that means that the bottom of your root system is sitting in water. So make sure that your saucer isn't holding water and make sure that your roots aren't sitting in water at the bottom of your pot. Some pots don't have the best drainage holes. So that's some place that you're gonna have to look to make sure that those little uh, brown edges don't occur again. So let's talk about defoliation. So you might have noticed that you have a couple of leaves that have fallen down and onto the ground around your bonsai. That happens, it sheds, kind of like we lose hair every once in a while. Now a lot of times if your bonsai has been sick or if there's been some sort of nutrient problems, they're gonna shed those leaves in an attempt to put on good, new, healthy growth. So that's perfectly fine. A little bit of shedding is nothing to worry about. Now, if you feel like it's more than just a couple of leaves here and there, please make sure that your bonsai isn't getting too much of a draft from a window. Believe it or not, windows can affect the temperature of an area by up to 15 degrees. So if you've got a bonsai by a window that loves tropical environments and you've got cold winter winds coming in, they're going to freak out, they're going to drop their leaves because they think it's going to be winter time inside but it's not going to be. So if you think that that might be the culprit, move them away from a window into a nice warm spot. I got some flying friends out here, but they're flakes. Uh, so if you find that you have some flying friends around your little bonsai indoors, don't worry. Usually the flying friends aren't going to hurt your plant that much. It's the larva that they lay in your soil. Really gross, I know. 
So what you want to do is target the flying insects as much as you can. You know, you can get those sticky traps that you can find on Amazon. I'll put a link below. Or you could use my solution, which it's kind of stinky, but it works really well. You get yourself a saucer of nice water, clear water, tap water, anything that you've got. I mean, I always use distilled, but that's personal preference. A little bit of apple cider vinegar. I usually do about a cup of water for a tablespoon of vinegar, plus a couple of drops of your favorite dish soap. It could be palm olive, it could be, I use Mrs. Myers, but I'm kind of a nerd like that. And put that near your plant. Now, the little flying insects, usually you get gnats. They're gonna be attracted to the fragrance of the soap. They're gonna get stuck and the vinegar is gonna kill them. That'll keep them from laying their larvae in your soil. Now your larva that's already in the soil is going to hatch, you're going to have another generation of flying insects, but they're going to go to the vinegar and they're going to die and everything's going to be great. So don't worry too much about the gnats. You can take care of them simply, naturally, nothing super toxic and you'll be fine. Before I get blizzarded in, one last thing. So the very first couple of leaves that your little plant puts on, that's a very special set of leaves. Those are like baby teeth in the plant world. Those are meant to fall off. So if they start turning yellow or brown, or if one falls off and the other one looks okay, or if they just look in any sort of general disrepair, don't worry about it. They're supposed to fall off anyways. So just kind of let nature take, take its course. Now, if you notice that they're sticking on a little bit longer than they should, just make sure you keep up with your normal fertilization. They'll fall off. It's okay. You can throw your plants a little party, say, hey, you lost your little starter leaves. Woohoo. Not really. They're plants. So nothing to worry about there. Just focus on the top growth and you'll be okay. I hope this has been very helpful for you in diagnosing what's wrong with your bonsai tree. I know that this is just a fraction of the things that could go wrong with the bonsai tree, but really it's not that hard to take care of. And if they start showing signs of distress, it's okay. You could take care of it. Just let us know. Drop us an email. Uh, get a hold of us on Instant Messenger or, you know, find us on Facebook. Take a picture. Describe what's going on. And as always, pictures are super helpful. We're here to help you every step of the way. And happy gardening, everybody.